Greetings, comrades. This is I'm gonna kill it back with part two of Lethal Russian Overkill, episode 36, Hell Revealed 2. Just finished up uh up in the previous video, so I think it's time to start the next one. I have plenty of time and we already have three more weapons. Ramjet, a Stachinov, and a channeler. Okay, let's go back up here. Need the red key for that. Mancubus. Another red key. Still need red key. <laughs> okay. So we can't go through there. Another Gonopilus cannon. We don't need that. <laughs> Not here yet. Still need a red key. Where's the red key then? I see a lot of red key doors, but I don't see the red key. I need a yellow key for that. Hmm. I already killed a decent amount of monsters. Uh, what about that switch? Does that need a red key? Even though it has red key lights, but. Huh. Perhaps it. Op oh, okay. It reveals a red key. Confusing at first, but okay. But hey, it doesn't matter, we got the right key now. Okay. <coughs> so playing a little more Armor 3. <laughs> I'm starting to get into Armor 3 again. Have a lot of mods in there. Mainly weapon mods and vehicle mods. And I can use those same weapons and things in the campaign, provided I use that uh, simple cheat menu system. There's, a, there's two options, like there's a uh, virtual arsenal, virtual garage, where you can like change your appearance, give yourself different weapons, you can go slow, you know, spawn whatever vehicle you want. I still need to get used to the vehicles in this game, they're... They take a lot of getting used to. Heck, uh, Battlefield 3's vehicles control easier than the... <laughs> Vehicles in Arma 3. Wait, I already opened it. Uh, wasn't there? No, I've already been there. Because we shouldn't miss anything. There's a Vindicator. Yeah, that. Okay. Oh, a little too close. Let me just... Uh... There we go. I might as well. You know how I am with super weapons. Watch my videos, so I can like, well, who does? And if you want high quality Doom videos, watch Icarus Lives or Aquarius. Even Jack the Master 101, his videos are better than mine. Anyway, I'm just doing my own thing. Okay, I need a blue key for this one. Ah, oh, more weapons. We got the Petrovic. Two Tepeches, for some reason. It's just, uh, that. You know, we have ammo for days. For some reason, I couldn't reload. And I still need blue key. Is there a switch in here? Nope. It was in the other room. Okay, so... Yeah, at first I didn't really get into Armor 3 because it's so complicated. And mainly because, you know, my, uh... Computer at the time was shit. Now that I was much more capable, you know, started to fire it up again. It takes up a lot of memory, but that's why I got two 3TB hard drives. I can hold as many games as I want. Ooh, another backpack. Oh yeah, I forgot. There we go. He's gonna make a wall. Explosions. Explosions. And recoil. Eh. There'll be more than enough, actually. 
with like 300 grenades. Getting thrown at him. Okay, here we go. Yep. And that's the last monster. Alright, I didn't find the secret, but oh well. Let me get a quick eat of a uh, frozen vodka. Siege 2. Siege 2 by Jonas Farron. Oh, I found a secret! I just started a level and I found a secret. How about that? It's just a bouncer. There we go. Probably a bit of a wider area, but uh. I think I gotta control your aim, otherwise, it'll bounce back at you. Oh. A lot of monsters. Oh, we got some pain elementals. You see the, the artificially raised the monster counter. Damn, lost well, soul spam. I don't think they did that in the vanilla dude. I think it's only in the brutal dude mod. Man, they give me enough ammo here. Ah, glorious vodka. Okay, so apparently we're in a small castle. That's pretty cool. So I guess we wait for this to come down. It's probably time. Yeah, I probably have to survive this first, which I have. So I'll tell you what. I'm going to pause it real quick and wait for this to finish uh, descending. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Alright, I'm back. It's finally descended. Only took, what, what two or three minutes? Alright. <clears throat> That's done with. Now for Base Blaze by Yashara Garabzade. I don't think I pronounced that right. Oh well. Huh, rather small map this one. Can't go in there. I'm not gonna use a super this time around. Uh This whole area is a secret. Oh okay. I guess we were programming this, didn't know how to program secrets. Alright, so, um, I need a key. Okay. Well, <coughs> this looks to be a rather simple back to what I've seen in Hell Revealed. Oh! Forgot. Okay, no, this can't be the exit already. No, 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 no. This can't be it. This can't be it. No, 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 no. I, I refuse to believe that this is a level. There are 94 monsters, right? Come on. Uh. Oh, let's see what this is. Oh! Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I was about to say, this can't be the level. No, no, no. This can't be not. This cannot be a level. No, I expected more from this one. Excuse me. In a good way. Schwarzer's Rug already have that. Vodki. Well, let's take some fun. I forgot what it does, but I don't care. Vodki, I'm gonna drink it. 
don't know what vodka tastes like. I want to imagine it tastes like... Uh... You guys remember in the early 2000s, they had that Sprite Remix? Like, I had a friend <laughs> in high school who said uh, that Sprite Remix tastes like Smirnoff, which is vodka. I want to imagine that vodka tastes like that. I don't think that's what it tastes like, and I don't really want to actually drink it, because, you know, I like my kidneys and liver the way they are. Though I have considered trying out a non-alcoholic beer. Because we do sell them at the store I work at. <coughs> oh, good. Alright. Hmm, not sure what that switch did. Well, it didn't open that. Oh, you fuck. What did? Yeah, what a deceiving beginning of this level. <laughs> But I, I, that can't be the level. Then if they're, oh, okay, okay. You tricky bastards. Do I have to shoot that or? Okay, I do have to shoot it. So yeah, I was going to get the uh, Quake HD pack. Like I was start playing Quake One again. I was, and I was getting the uh, Quake HD pack, the high definition textures and stuff. And for some reason, uh, my web root uh, detected malware in it. It's like, that can't be right. All it is is a texture pack. I might have to. Well, you know, antivirus is known for that. They're known for living so long as false positives. You know, fast especially. Which I'm actually using a vast as an antivirus for my uh, laptop. Because I don't feel like spending $30 on another antivirus when on a thing that's not gonna be, that I'm not going to be using all the time. Like I said, that laptop is purely mainly a backup computer. In case something happens to Proteus. What's over here? Okay, it just takes me back over here. Um. What should what that did? Let's go back. Maybe it open the exit. No, it did not. Well, apparently there's something else I need to do. Maybe find the blue door. Why, of course. All right. So I'm gonna get quick uh, frozen vodka. It's ice cream, but I call it frozen vodka because I want to. Hmm. There is a real exit. Ah, uh, kill all the monsters. So there we go. Makes us raw hatred by Mike Watson and Eric Roberts. I don't think it's that Eric Roberts. Like, is it Eric Roberts? Eric Roberts an actor? Because I remember he was in The Expendables, the first one. He was a villain. Sorry, uh, out. Ah, another backpack. That's what we need. More ammo. <laughs> yeah, it's a little overkill here, but oh well. I don't think I could pick them up. Yeah, I can't pick them up because I have too much health. Oh well. Okay, 
so I got the yellow key. I'm just gonna rub it up real quick. There we go. Okay, need a red key for that. I swore I killed him. Okay. I think he's dead now. Oh, there's gonna be something over here, isn't there? Well, that. Here. A little present for you. lag, but here we go. Hmm, surprisingly it didn't lag. Okay, so we got the red key. Still playing more monsters to kill. Things don't hurt you. I heard a panel. Yep, yeah, they're out there. Before they, uh, spam their... I didn't do much. Well, because I had no choice. <coughs> oh, okay. Okay, there's still one left. Still spamming lost souls. That one, it's of course. Okay, nothing of interest here. Oh, oh, okay. Is that opening? <laughs> You know, I think gives us some more health. There we go. Okay. There's gonna be something on, behind, up there. I know it. Yep. There you go. So I don't know if I mentioned this. I mentioned in best. I went to Best Buy a week ago. Anti-Static by Michael Reed. Yeah, the uh, font uh, a little messed up there. <coughs> but yeah, I thought it was a rebranded. Uh, this it was a G903. I thought it was a rebranded G900 Chaos Spectrum. But then I looked up online. There's a major difference. It looks the same, but the major advantage it has that it's it can be charged wirelessly, which eliminates the need of cables. Maybe in hindsight I should have waited for that. But you know. I already have the Chaos Spectrum, I still like it, so... I'm not going to do the same thing like they did with the Proteus Mice. Because at least those were affordable. The g you know, 3 is like 150 bucks, the same price as Chaos Spectrum is, so... At this point in time... If you already have the Chaos Spectrum... Unless you really want to... Now so can char be charged wirelessly, then don't bother with the 903. You already have... 900. These are what? Watching the invisible. Well, not invisible. You can see them, but like these platforms that don't have like a opaque base. And it looks like you're floating on top of them. I see those a lot mods these lately.
Oh, the uh, Spider Mastermind's dead. Oh. Well, I uh, don't have any of the keys, actually, so... Let's we'll do that. So we came from... Not sure what that switch did. Okay, I came from here. Here, maybe, uh. Oh, okay, there are two teleporters. Here we go. Right to keep obtained. Okay, we have a swap of monsters there. Might as well knock them out. Let's go put the red key switch. Over here. Let's go this port melts. Don't be weird. If someone put the uh, made vodka ice cubes, like instead of water, they poured vodka. Like they won't know the difference. Yeah, until the, their water tastes funny, and they start to feel a buzz. <coughs> Is there a switch over here? Or anything? Nope. Go back over here. Hmm. Can I go in this building? No, but it looks like that opens somehow. What's over here? Nothing. Well, I think that's right here. Let's go over here. Oh. Now it's open. So there we go. Okay, now we uh, flip the yellow switch. And I'll wager that wall over there has the blue key that we need. And nothing is opening. freeze later. That must be the exit, but first let's, you know, clean house a bit. That should get rid of them all. I'll leave one to tell the tale. Alright. Hardcore by Jonas Ferrigan. He's made a lot of maps in this squad. Okay. So we're on map 13. I bet there's pretty decent progress here. Out 
but clean out almost the entire map. Let's go clean out the rest of it. If we can. Or maybe the rest are in spawn rooms. I don't know. Wait. That's a spider mastermind dead there. How did you survive? <coughs> okay. Whoa. I wasn't aware there was a switch. Okay, that just takes me back to the beginning, okay? Archmile. There you go. Guess the other stragglers are trying to come out. Alright. I heard something open. Okay, he's already got that. Oh, another arch trial. Okay, so... <clears throat> that... Not quite sure what that did. Okay, just back over here. I don't need to go there. Uh... It's a rather small map, but uh let's try this teleporter. Hmm. Just four monsters that are dead. Right, another archfile survivor. Alright, now they're all dead. I don't folks I figure out where the hell I'm supposed to go. <clears throat> Nothing here. Nothing here either. Hmm. All right. I need a key, obviously. Where that key is, I am not sure. So I went through those teleporting gates or whatever. No switches here. There is another teleporter. That takes me to the beginning, though, doesn't it? Yeah, just takes me back to the beginning. Uh... Oh, there's just a lot of ammo. I can't even see through there. See what I'm supposed to do here. Hmm. Oh, another switch. Oh, okay, okay. I was really like, what am I supposed to do here? Ah, there we go. Well, that's a yellow key. Oh, okay. Well, all the monsters are dead, so I don't have to worry about killing anything now. So let's switch back to Swords work. Oh, we need a blue key for this. Okay, uh... Not there. Uh, let's go back over here. Yeah. Over here. So, what does that switch do? I didn't hear anything either. Oh, this is a little confusing. I 
can't tell. Is there music playing? Thing here. Ah, oh, it's so confusing. Well, there's a red key, but I need. Okay. Need to lay off vault key for a while. That's what happens when there are a lot of uh, corpses. Like, yeah, it's hard to see where things are at. Of course, that's also my own stupidity. Hey, what do you expect? Alright, that's done and over with. Metal Meltdown by Sam Woodman. Alrighty, and I'm going to stop this video here. Man, it's been... We're making some progress. We're already on map 14. It's about how quickly we're going through this wad. Hopefully the rest of the wad plays out pretty good. That one level aside. Anyway... This is part two of Hell Revealed 2. Booze Rush and Overkill episode 36. Ooh, excuse me. And this is Amagam Caleb signing out.